plaintiff, Sandy Machat, says he's known the defendant for 10 years. And the defendant asked to go into business with him because she wanted to capitalize on the fact that he looks like Rick Ross. However, Sandy's suing because he claims he showed up to an appearance that the defendant booked, but she failed to pay him. Defendant Valerie Jones says she's an event planner, and she agrees that Sandy helped her business. Valerie claims whenever Sandy would show up to her events, he would draw a crowd because people thought he was a celebrity. But she denies owing him for the appearance in question. She's countersuing for slander. Start with you. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, I've been knowing Valerie for over 10 years. Um, we met through a mutual friend. Um, we all was in the entertainment business together. Um, I see Valerie out to different events. Um, we started partying, you know, after a while, after we, you know, got a little closer and we hang out, you no know, partying and everything. And she seen the attention I was getting because, um, you know, I, everybody said I re resembled the rapper Rick Ross. So, <laughs> All right, you do. so <laughs> you do appearances to look I, like no, Rick Ross? No, I don't. I don't do appearances to look like Rick Ross, but it just happens that I look like him, where well, I resemble him to the fact that other people think that I am him, mm -hmm. and the defendant uh, wanted to capitalize off of it. For you to look like him? Well, no, to sir, make appearances. I, I For had... you to go, hold on, ma'am. Okay. For you to go somewhere to look like Rick Rock. Well, I guess yes, sir, if you wanted to put it that way. Well, that's what that means. You're making an appearance. I make an appearance, right. And you go there <laughs> to look like Rick Ross. <laughs> no, not, okay, not, not necessarily. Enough. Not necessarily. No not problem. Necessary. No problem. Right. You have appearance fee and you say that's what you're suing for. I try to ask you. Well, you say no. That's well, not what you're there for. No, no, that's, that's, that's part of the deal. But the, the... You said no. Do you make appearances to look like Rick Ross? No. Good enough. <laughs> All right. Let me hear from you what this case is about. Okay. So I met the plaintiff about 10 years ago, and he is not the same person that I met 10 years ago. He's become very egotistical, very self-centered. Um, he's kind of like threatened to me, my liability, my career. So I don't really know this person that I see today. Um, he's That's telling a lot of lies here lately. He lies to women um, who he has invited to my events. And what he's trying what to explain- What events do you do? I, I do like, um, I. I assist celebrities. I also do different events for like uh, just different various causes, whether it's okay. like democratic conventions, um, breast cancer, different awareness, just whatever. You're fundraising coordinator? Right, yeah. Okay. That, and then it's just whomever um, I meet. Mm -hmm. And then they have a, a, a need. I'm a little like upset because I, I had hoped that I had met you under different circumstances. I'm so pissed off right now because I was hoping that's, that that's a, I had met you somewhere with nice. Me? You yes. to do some... And not like this. Okay. And this ratchet ratchetness. Don't um, do it. But okay, so Don't do it. <laughs> once upon a time, um, we I my, I lost my mother and grandmother, same as you to cancer. Mm -hmm. I lost my mother. So I started partying a lot. And when I partied, I invited this person out. I said, come out, you know, hang out, because um, my clients were paying for everything. So then he started getting attention as Rick Ross, like people thought he was. So I was making money, so I tithed into his life. It was not a, not a fee. I told him, I said, well, if I'm going to make money, I'll just tithe into your life. I'll give you $200. Why? Just because I, it was like a percentage of what I made. It's like Why? you tithe 10%. I was just being nice. I was literally just being nice. He was around. How many other people do you give 10% of you? <laughs> but I mean, it was just, it exactly. helped my business. How did it help your business? Because people thought that I had a celebrity in VIP. They okay. thought that I had a celebrity at the so event. So then say that's why, ma'am. Don't yeah. say it's because you were being nice. When you tithe, you give 10% to the church or to the, to, to, to the community. That's because you don't want anything back. So you were giving him 10% of what you were receiving every time he showed up at one of your events so that he could enhance your event by looking like Rick Ross. And sir, and that, that, that wasn't the only thing I was, was bringing. Was I was bringing, only? I have my own publication, I have a magazine, um, and I have models. And we all come and enhance 
her events. No, together. no, you don't. No, that's Let not true. Let finish, ma'am. Let him give his side. That's what that's what the events was for. Uh, she knew she lot. knew my business before we started, you know, hanging out, and got she mm -hmm. and she started um, doing her her I thing. I got you. So. so you're telling me exactly what you said it wasn't. Uh, appearance fees, but go ahead. <laughs> well, not as Rick Ross. That's what I'm saying. Is is it was because of my magazine and my models. That's what that was the draw. And you just happened to look like Rick. I just Ross. happened to look exactly. like Rick Ross. Exactly, sir. You but his you models acting like you were no, Rick Ross. No, sir. Um, <laughs> folks have shot at him before, yeah. <laughs> but uh, thank God nothing has happened to him. Right. right, right. Go ahead. This young lady here. Um, trying to portray herself as something that I, I don't even know myself, but she's a gold digger. She goes after you know famous guys and uh, Think, ball are players. You, are you, serious? you know, yeah, she. That's why she wanted to meet me under different yeah, circumstances. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Exactly. Well, baby, my wife won't give me none of the money, <laughs> so you, you can go. get up the wrong tree. This is only going that's to why. This is only going to I know they're going to be chasing you. But tell them if they chasing you, you ain't got no money. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. I got all the money. I'm writing all the checks. So if they chasing you, tell them it's going to be a freebie. <laughs> uh, <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> go ahead, sir. Yeah, exactly. So, I mean, for as she's saying, you know. I man, know you're talking about doing business with Yeah, me, he's slamming. Slandering me right now, right here. Yeah, in I know. Sport. You're, I know what you're referring to. You're right. Referring I, to you want to do visits, coordinate my events, or have me appear as Judge Mathis <laughs> at one of your events. All right. So I'll appear as Judge Mathis. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Oh, Digger, go are you serious? Yeah, so but... tell me how this transaction you're suing her for came about. She said to me, she was like, "Hey, look, um, let's you know capitalize off this." So I was like, "Okay, well, what do you have in mind?" So she was saying, you know, well, all the events that she that she's a part of, she'll bring me in along with my company, and she would pay me two hundred dollars for an appearance fee in every event that she has. So, you know, we we did a little contract. No, we did not, sir. Can it, yeah, the contract like can it. speak for itself. That's like, right. You go right ahead. Um, first of all, if you look at these pictures, I would never invite these girls to my events. Never, never, you wouldn't never, even ever. Invite them. No, I would not. Let alone pay I wouldn't them. even party Let's with them see. or hang out with them. That's the first thing. I These would. girls are tatted up. They are half naked. They are in thongs. Imagine me at a breast cancer event or going to the White House or hanging out with some of my clients, and, and, and they're just but, like but that. Yana, but Yana, but Yana, she did. She did party with him. No, I did not. Yes, I had yes, never. Did, no, no, yes, did, we not. did not party she knew what, together. She knew Are what you type serious? Of, she knew what type of magazine it was. He provides me with a contract, ma'am, and tell me what this is for. The, this is, I wrote to him. I called him. I said, look, I have an idea. I want it to be nice. And if you read it, it says, whenever I'm out, I'll give you $200 as my way of showing my appreciation for your continued support. What was your objective in having him to hang out with you? So he could buy his own drinks. Um, if in the event we no, weren't no. getting Why did you need him to I hang out? I didn't necessarily need him. We so were partying together. So why did you sign together. a contract? Right. Exactly. I sent that to him because I was just being nice. It, was, not a con it wasn't a contract. <laughs> no, it's a contract. <laughs> but I'm just saying, I told, I sent a note. I emailed him a note and I said, Sam, I want you to join me at the magic show in Vegas. Yeah. And when you come, I'm going to give you $200 no, I, I from this point on. I was asking you why you signed a contract for him to do it, and you said you were just being nice. And every time you tell me that, you will come across as dishonest exactly. and deceptive. Exactly. And I'm almost ready to rule for him immediately and then listen to your counterclaim. So we'll try one more time. Why did you sign agreeing to pay him? $200 for every event you attend with me. Why'd you do that? Yeah, I Valerie, why'd you quiet. do that? Quiet! Why'd you do it, ma'am? I paid him a percentage of what I made. Why? We got more attention because he All looked right. like Rick Ross. Well, then say that. Yes, sir. All right, that's what your contract is for. Right, and that's what it says. You know, the judge can cut through all of that. That's why I, that's why you wanted to meet me, because you know the judge, <laughs> yeah, the judge no, got I, real good sense. No, let, let me 
me tell you. Because I got real on, good sense. Based on my background, when, when they hire you, you know, I, I've been in the modeling industry my entire life. We and better it's like move if on to your counterclaim. $1,000 <laughs> for slander. How did he defame you, ma'am? Um, he went on my client's page and he said some things that um, was true. were less than nice. What? He but they told were them that I, people told me they kind of gave me like the Show me what he it. did. You say he went on their page. So read or tell me or show me I what he did. I can give you um, evidence where someone saw it and then how I was... Okay, let's see it. Let's see canceled. it, ma'am. Let's see it. You're suing her for two hundred dollars. Right. Did you make the appearance? I made the appearance. And when you ask for your money, what has she told you? What I the club owner told me that she didn't show up, so he wasn't paying me. Did you book the event, ma'am? Yes, I did, and All I also right. told him I wasn't coming. I, because I no longer wanted to do business. But with you me. booked the event and you had him show up I did as not. a result of you booking it. Yes, no, she did, sir. No, sir, I didn't ask him to if show up. If you booked it, that's what you did. And he did show up. There up. you go again. <laughs> <laughs> and I see I this little clause you mentioned. From this point, every event you attend with me, I'm going to pay you. That doesn't mean when this man attends and provides a service just because you get a flat tire or whatever other reason you don't come, that you don't owe him because he fulfilled the service. I find that if you book him and tell him to show up, that you owe him after he he shows up. Whatever little slick <laughs> sentence you put in here. I know but you're trying sir, to be sir, slick what like I'm you're trying to, to be slick with me. Come on, try to be slick a little it more. Wasn't a Go ahead. Fee. The defamation is for but what, that's, ma'am? That's what I'm trying to explain. I understand. You don't need to explain fee. that anymore. I've made my decision on that. Convince okay, me well, of your if case. If I owe him, I'll definitely pay him. I know you will. Give, give me your case. <laughs> Give me your case. How did he defame you? Okay, he went, he went on, on and my said, client's mm -hmm. page. Um, if you look, Marlon Adams can attest to it. I originally hired her based on her contract. What does that say about him saying something about exactly. you? Exactly. Because there was a... He said some things on social show media. Show me. Show me the stuff well, he said, man. I never saw that part. Okay, but he, then. He, well, he, okay, okay, wait, wait, wait. wait. Have I have... No, job. sir. I have, I have an email where he admitted... That what? That he admitted. It says here. It says, I am going to warn everyone to watch out for your trifling A until I'm paid. Uh -huh. And I told him, I said, you caused me a job. You plastered information all over Facebook. And then he, had, he said, yes, I did. Well, the he bad news it. is you did do bad business <laughs> with him. And he has a right to tell people that you do bad, bad business. business. Exactly. And the proof of that is I'm granting him his judgment because of your bad business practice. Your claim is dismissed and yours is granted.